Now what we have here or with the kinetic science is really for us the next big step forward in uh, vacuum cleaner and separation system cyclone technology. And what we have is the most efficient cyclone we've ever managed to produce and one that in effect is so efficient we're separating out all these tiny uh, particles, the, like I said the multiple particles and the allergens, within the cyclone, removing the need for this filter and with it, with it the maintenance aspect to it. So the really exciting part of the technology, sorry, excuse me, is uh, takes place at the very tip of the cyclone. So there's a very little uh, quick sort of one, sort of one-on-one -on, -one on uh, cyclone technology. Basically, the smaller you can get that cone, the higher the centrifugal forces you're going to generate, and the finer the dust and dirt is going to be separated out. It actually all comes down to airspeed and g-force and get very sort of complicated, but that's a sort of very top level on it. But the problem is, if you get on very small. Uh, to a very small diameter, you get this potential for them to become blocked. And obviously the last thing you want to do is block anything up, otherwise you have the same problem of uh, loss in performance and, and suction. So to combat that, we have these special sort of rubberized tips uh, at the bottom of each one of the cones. Now these allow us to get down to that very, very small diameter, filter out the fine dust and dirt, but the beauty of them is, each one of these oscillates and vibrates. And now they're uh, oscillating and vibrating at about 5,000 times a second, meaning that the dust and dirt gets shaken from the tip, preventing it from building up. Now, a good analogy I've been using for this is, it's a bit like when you dump um, flour or powder into a sieve or a sifter. Obviously, some of it drops through, but a lot of it will just sit in that sieve or sifter. As soon as you start shaking it, obviously it disturbs the particles or the, the, the bits within the, the powder, and they drop through that fine mesh. It's a very similar principle here. By making sure these very small tips are vibrating very quickly, it stops any dust and dirt from building up, allows it to drop through into the bin, but allows us to get down to that very, very small diameter needed to filter out um, the, the really fine dust and dirt. And actually, to give you an idea of uh, the technology, we've got these cones that we've passed around to give you, uh, you can feel how sort of uh, soft and flexible they are. Uh, we actually spent um, a lot of time developing this because we need to get exactly the right balance between uh, a cone tip that was soft enough to get the vibrations, but not too soft that it would collapse under the suction sort of thing. So uh, a huge sort of uh, endeavour just for something quite as simple as you know a soft, flexible um, tip. Yeah, so, I mean, I was very lucky. Obviously, I went to the British education system. And we teach what we call design and technology from a very early age. And it's sort of very fundamental engineering. Um, I suppose it would be very similar to some shock, you know, good shock, good shock. You know, you know, it's symbolic of like the American ego. Yeah. It totally is. I mean, like, feel the power. We absolutely make bigger vacuums in America, not because we need to, but because people want big vacuums. So uh, as we move to sort of these very fine plastic and metal shrouds, we end up with a much larger diameter. Um, and you know, we got a lot of feedback from customers about um, debris getting lodged uh, up and around. Now we've always designed it so you can separate the bin from the cyclone um, in order to make it easy for cleaning. And sort of our recommendation for cleaning this is to use things like the bristle head. Um, we also knew a lot of people either didn't want to do that or um, found that slightly more difficult. So for the first time on the canister, we sort of included this tool uh, that effectively allows people to get up inside that space um, to, to help remove any debris that builds up um, above the max fill line and on that sort of mesh shroud. Is this the kinetic? This is also the kinetic, yes. Yeah. So this is kinetic in the canister format. Um, obviously, the US is more dominantly an upright format still. Countries around the world vary. If we go up to Canada, it's about 50-50 split. You go over to sort of mainland Europe and the, the uh, canister becomes much more dominant. This, is actually, this was actually launched first about a year ago in other countries around the world. Um, we're only sort of launching it now at the same time as we're doing the upright because we knew the US market would prefer the sort of the upright format. So um, exactly the same technology, um, same rubber tips, same smaller sort of cone design. Uh, just put in the, um, the canister cylinder format for those that sort of prefer that layout.